Hello, thanks for joining us for our video on the basic steps in creating wall panel breaks and generating the framing from them. For end user flexibility, there are a few ways of generating the wall panel breaks. One would be to use the wall section of the modeling tab, where within this menu you can add a single manual panel break with this option. Simply select this option and then select the wall to add the break to and the location for the break within the wall. Then to break up the wall into panels automatically, you can utilize the generate panels function. Then selecting the walls you want to panelize. Alternatively, these commands can be utilized from the contextual wall tab or the right click menu with having a wall or walls selected. Whichever method is used will bring up the wall panelizing settings window. It's possible to use the default system settings or save them as project specific settings. The basic tab has a number of options. Here you can define the structural layer that will be included within the panel based on the wall type you are using. All of these can be toggled on or off, with the exception of framing which is greyed out and permanently switched on. Corner details allow you to control how the corners are held back. For instance, with vertical walls extended, it will cut back the horizontal panels. Panel labels can also be set here, either from the wall attributes or wall type. Interior view allows you to flip the viewing direction in the labels of the panel. There is an option to automatically leave out layers that don't have framing tools. These could be a siding or a sheathing layer that doesn't have a framing tool, for example. The advanced tab gives the user options for setting first panel lengths and setting any extra length for this panel, as well as which modeling pair the panel volume is added to. Panelization direction allows you to choose the way the panels are numbered. There is also an option to ensure that panels aren't split over openings, as well as a definable value that any break should be from an opening. There are also further cladding button settings, should that be applicable. However, I will for this example press OK and my walls will be broken into panels based on what was set up in the project parameters. When panelizing, only the panel breaks themselves are generated, not the frame. This gives us opportunity to amend the panel layout before generating the framing. With the new version, panels can easily be selected by clicking the panel label. Panels can then easily be resized by selecting the grip points at each end. If the panel is going to a corner, the overlapping panel can be swapped by right clicking the grip point and choosing the flip corner connection command. Panels can also be easily split into two by utilizing the cut by point command in the right click contextual menu. Once the panels are arranged as required, we can generate the framing. Either select the panels and use the generate parts command from the right click menu or from the framing section of the panel tab from the ribbon. Quickest method when generating all the panels is to use the generate parts command from the wall paneling menu in the modeling tab and then simply draw a box around all the walls and confirm. The parts of the 3D framing model will be automatically generated. All the wall frames are then editable in 2D and 3D. However, please see the next video in this series where we will go into more detail on the general framing tools. Thanks for watching.